so today we're going to learn how to create some shiny curved metal text with some moss type looking stuff on top of it just like you're seeing here now first thing we want to do is create a new image I'll uh, just create it 800 by 600 hit OK and then we want to fill the background with a grayish type color so I'm just going to pick any one of these using our paint bucket tool fill that there and then we want to use our text tool and selecting a darker gray just here we want to type on our text and then just going to put in this text here and now I'm just going to position that with the move tool just there now it doesn't really matter what color you select as long as it's like a grayish type color Alrighty, the next thing we want to do is duplicate the text layer by dragging it down to here and then just hide that so it's a backup in case we need to make any changes. Now what we want to do is right click on the text layer and select blending options. Then the settings we want to select here are tick drop shadow and now we want to put this down to zero and the spread we just want to have it probably at about three or four. So I'm going to select three. Then what we want to do is select bevel and emboss by ticking that here and selecting that. Now the settings we want to use here is the sizes at one pixel and inner bevel smooth and 100%. Now I'm just going to hit OK on that. Then what we want to do is select our gradient tool and holding control click the text layer then right click on the text layer and select rasterize type and then we want to select this option up here reflected gradient and we want to have reverse ticked and div and transparency ticked opacity zero mode normal and then just from about the middle of your text just drag upwards just to give that sort of white brightness in the middle there now to give it a more rounded look uh, we want to go into edit transform and warp and then we're just going to move these up here these two here move this one down a bit that one down a bit and then just move these up a little bit each one evenly or it doesn't have to be perfect but yep yeah, that's basically and then we give that a tick now that's give it a more rounded look however it's a bit blurry so what we want to do is go into filter sharpen and sharpen and then you can do another sharpen again to get it clear then what we want to do is using the brush tool and a grunge brush which can be downloaded from our website by going to love to help com clicking on downloads here and then downloading our grunge brush packs and installing them you can select one of them I'm just using this one here sample brush 8 and then just selecting like a green type color I hold control and click on the text so it highlights the text and then just click on there so that it splatters the green just over like so until you're happy with how much sort of moss there is then what we do next is go to filter sharpen and sharpen and then that will give us that sort of painted on look now you can apply the sharpen filter again if if you want it a bit more detailed but it's up to you so that's basically it I hope this has been a help to you and thanks for watching.